Okay, so here's a quick little video of these poly tanks we're using as a gray water uh, septic system for the kitchen of this house. So we're coming out of the house here with a four inch clean out and four inch SDR 35 through this trench into our first barrel. Coming into a Arenco uh, pipe grommet. And we drilled those with the, we didn't drill them out with a hole saw, we just used a Dremel and cut them out. Kind of have to have an oblong shape because coming into the top of the contour of this barrel. So we had to sort of have an egg shape. So then we, down here, we got a a Y combo with a so it's a straight 45 and a Y dumping down. So we got it coming in, and this one's going out. It goes to the second stage of this tank that we're making. We're coming in here and out. We're not quite up to the level yet gonna flow out of this last part and it goes out to this pipe and we've got a Santee on the end it goes straight down so we dug down set the barrels we're gonna encase these in concrete because I'm a little bit uh, leery to backfill and packed up against them. I think they'll just crush. So down here, you can get the camera to focus. We've got inch and a half washed river rock from Butte, sand and gravel. And then over here, we've got, i climb down in here. Cap. And, and it's just going to dump right down in. Dumps right down in. And we drilled down. So that pipe only goes into the, the rock about six or eight inches. And it dumps down. We drilled, uh, we augered a hole 12 feet deep to get into our sand water table so this is in a this is in a number two septic tank this is just for a sink so this is just a gray water system and then this pipe here this is just an inspection pipe so we can this is just a four inch styrene so we can stick a tape measure down in there and see how much water is in our hole. it up a nice little crown there caps are on washed them out good to go tomorrow we'll come back and strip forms and our miniature septic tank will be done the last thing I wanted to explain was in retrospect I could have dug this with a 24 inch bucket and dug a nice perfect hole, set these barrels in and backfilled them with a lightweight backfill like pea gravel or 
smaller crushed rock. And the reason why we encased these in concrete was we were afraid that the barrels would implode during the backfill and compaction process. So we took all the time and effort and expense to backfill with concrete, set the form and all that. So it's a lot of extra work. So if I were to do this again, I would figure out my flow line elevation, put, build my um, grommets in my barrels, and if I had access to, which I do, I would drill the hole with a 24 inch auger bit and maybe bed the bottom with some crushed rock and set the flow line elevation, set the barrel in the 24 inch hole. Perfect, flow line's perfect elevation wise. Set the next one and then backfill over the top. So next time we do this, if we ever do it, we won't have to pour concrete around. This is a lot of extra work and cost and time. So um, if you don't have access to that, dig yourself a trench that's 24 inches wide or exactly the width of your barrel width and don't over dig the backside or, or under dig it. dig it. Try and dig it right on grade. It may take a little bit of hand work to dig the vertical on the front and back if you're digging a trench in the long way. But in the end, you could backfill it with some lightweight material like pea gravel and you wouldn't have to do any of this. So really, it could be done in about one day, which took us about I think three full days we messed around with this thing. So, hope you enjoyed the video. It's the first YouTube video. So, uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up and maybe we'll make some more. Thank you.